My brother-in-law is the reason why my husband left me. I don't know what to do now. Original post. I, female 38, met my brother-in-law, male 38, at uni. He asked me out in our first year, and I refused. He called me the C-word and that I'm shallow. My best friend told me that it was harmless comments from a drunken guy who got rejected. I never thought myself shallow. It was his demeanor and awkwardness that was off-putting to me. In a way, he proved my friend right. And other than these comments, I have never felt uncomfortable during my uni years because he never bothered me again. Not even looked my way. Next time I met him was when my baby sister of female 28 introduced him as her boyfriend. I didn't even recognize him at first because it was like 9 to 10 years since that day he talked to me. He was visibly annoyed that I didn't recognize him and called me a liar. The family was skeptical at first about him, but he seemed to treat my sister right and she seemed happy. He is very rich, taking her all over the world and he seemed kind with it too. They got married after a year of dating and they have three children now. I met my now ex male 45 years ago and the only odd comment from my brother-in-law was that I was still as shallow and superficial as I was in uni. At the time, I took it as a joke, but in hindsight, when I found out the truth and started thinking back looking for red flags, this was probably a big one. He never showed any signs that he disliked my husband, and he was always decent enough. And his indifference to have a close friendship with my husband and I didn't seem odd because he was always a recluse. A year ago, my husband came home and accused me of cheating, and he had evidence. The guy contacted him, and he had nudes and stuff of me on his phone. The guy told my husband that he didn't know at first that I was married, but as soon as he found out, he contacted my now ex. He even apologized to my husband. I have never met this guy in my life, but nothing I said or did made my husband believe me. He left me, and our divorce is pending. Then yesterday, the guy contacted me. He apologized for what he did, and told me that he is friends with my brother-in-law. He sent me conversations, endless conversations my brother-in-law had about me for years. He has never forgotten that I, in his words, didn't even give him a chance and only judged him by his looks. He called me to see word in that chat. Both group chats with his friends, but mostly with this guy. They planned this attack, and my brother-in-law somehow got access to my photos. The reason this guy contacted me now is that he felt guilty, because even when my marriage is over, my brother-in-law was still angry and hateful, especially when he heard that I was on a date last weekend. So the friend felt that he didn't help his friend, but ruined innocent people's lives. Not sure what to do. My brother-in-law has actually been happier and more sociable than usual since my divorce, and now I know why. Although first I thought he felt sorry and wanted to support me. His jokes about me ending up an old maid with cats as companions don't sound like jokes anymore. He meant them. I don't want to ruin my sister's life. She's very happy with her husband. I'm not sure either if I can with her husband. I'm not sure if I should tell my ex or not. I am very heartbroken that he didn't believe me. Love him very much. He is the love of my life. But I'm not sure if I can forgive him for not believing me. But he is a victim in this too. So maybe he needs to know for closure. I am so terribly sad and hurt. I'm sorry this post got very long. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Why wouldn't you tell your sister her husband is bad crazy? And seems weirdly obsessed with Opie, to the point their marriage might be a weird revenge fantasy for him. OMG, that's entirely possible. I wonder how much Opie and her sister look alike. He definitely hates seeing Opie in a relationship. He wants her to be single and lonely. Because every guy she accepts obviously must have something he lacks, since he got rejected. And that's a no-go in his books, so he's doing everything he can to make Opie feel miserable. So the very least she should do is going absolutely no contact with him, because he won't stop until the ending with only cats as companions. Yes, you should tell your sister her husband is crazy. Yes, you should clear your name with your ex, even if you don't want to go back to him. You should also go to the police over your pics he shared without consent. I will be honest, I'm terrified. It wouldn't shock me if this guy found your sister and is dating her just to remain close to you. Feels too coincidental that he somehow popped back up in your life and then got mad when you didn't remember him. I feel so too. It makes it even worse. Now for the first update. My soon-to-be ex-husband knows everything now. Apparently, the guy who contacted me contacted my husband at the same time and confessed to him. My soon-to-be ex is coming to town this weekend and he wants to talk. Afterwards, I will probably need to look into taking legal actions, if that's possible, and tell my family. I think now that exposing him is the best and more safe approach, should anything more serious happen, at least people would be aware of who to blame. I want to at least make sure that my sister and her children are in safety before I tell them everything, like meeting them at my parents' house after I tell my parents. 
the pictures were real and were probably stolen from my phone or my husband's because he's the only one that I took the pictures for. I don't know if I can get any justice since the pictures were not of my face. At least I was smart enough to not have my face shown in those photos. I don't know what will happen. When you talk to your sister, have your parents there for support. I will tell them first. Try getting a restraining order as well. Definitely need a restraining order. The dude is insane. So you're telling me that this guy has kept himself around you for 20 years and is still hung up on you rejecting him? It sounds like he's preyed on your sister to get close to you and will keep trying to ruin your life if you let him get away with this. You need to tell your sister what he did and the guy he used needs to tell your ex what he did. Not to stir any pots or get your ex back, but so everyone knows what a psycho this guy is. If he's still trying to get back at you after decades of you simply rejecting him, he's never going to stop and he's never going to let you be happy. Yes, he's been following me through uni years and even afterwards. He found my sister and managed to charm her. When they got married, I was single, and apparently he was telling his friends how he was glad I was old and single and miserable. Not my experience of my single life. Then when I met my husband, he was angry because he didn't think I would find someone at my age, 33. Now when we were getting a divorce, he was very pleased again, saying I would definitely never find someone at 38, that I would regret turning him down. But I was on a date last weekend, so he spiraled down again and was angry and wrote horrible things about me, so his friend chose to come forward because he thought that my divorce wasn't enough for this guy. His words. Any update on this, OP? I believe you said previously you were meeting with your ex Friday, correct? Hi, yes. I met with my husband and it didn't go well at all. We talked and he apologized and asked me to forgive him. He said that he never truly believed that I would cheat. The evidence was overwhelming and he just thought that he believed me because he was blinded by his love for me. He then wanted to head over to my sister and her husband to confront him, but I asked him not to until I am comfortable that my sister is at least at my parents. I wanted my parents to ask her to go visit them and we tell her then. That way, she's not with her husband when she finds out and he finds out that he is exposed. This morning, I got many calls and texts from everyone because my husband went and did it anyway and he had a huge fight with my brother-in-law. He denied everything, of course, so my husband blasted him in social media and made an apology for believing rumors about me. My sister was angry with me, and my parents were confused and shocked. I have talked to my parents and told them everything now and they believe me, but they agree that I should have given the chance to talk to my sister before all hell broke loose. Now she's not speaking to me because my husband tried to beat up her husband. Wow, your ex absolutely should not have done that and really screwed you over by doing so. You are the victim here, and he should not have done anything without your permission. I'm sorry it took an already messy situation and made it worse. He made it worse, yes. He has always been calm and collected and good in de-escalating bad situations. Never knew he would act so rash and make things worse. Second update. I really don't have much to add. My sister is very angry. She said that I have ruined her husband's reputation because my ex has blasted him and his friend everywhere. Now he is talking about wanting to end his life because I ruined it because of a joke he played. My parents have told her everything the day everything was exposed, and apparently she believed them and me at first, but now she has turned on me, so she's refusing to listen. I wish I could have a moment with her first before hell broke loose. If it was a joke, he would have revealed that when it was actively destroying your life. I mean, even if we completely ignore how not funny that would ever be, the fact that he let it rip your life apart shows his character. To be clear, I know you know it wasn't a joke. But if you do get a chance to talk to your sister, that's the response. We don't even need to ask if it matters whether or not it was a joke, because he was fine imploding your life over a joke. That speaks enough to his character. As for your sister, give her some time. She's surrounded by noise right now and is probably feeling locked into a fight-or-flight reaction to try to save her marriage and her children. She has to process through it to the other side and make peace with that, whatever the side ends up being. It wasn't a joke. It was a malicious lie to sabotage your marriage because of his ego. Send her the text messages and asks her if this is the type of joke she would want somebody to play on her. It's cruel and it'll wreck her, but it has truths of her husband's cruel personality. And do you really want to cling onto a relationship with someone who accepts those types of action towards their loved ones? There needs to be legal consequences of this as well. How did your brother-in-law get the private photos? It's such a huge invasion of privacy. Maybe talk to a lawyer. You may also need a friend to talk to your ex, but I doubt that marriage is salvageable and your sister may or may not want to know. That depends on your relationship. If she knows the truth, then it is her decision to leave him or cut you out. And if she cuts you out, 
then that's not someone you need in your life. Unfortunately, there will not be any legal consequences. The police seemed uninterested. How are things, Obi? Getting back with the husband? I think he is seeing someone. He's already seeing someone even now that he knows the truth. If he truly loved you, he would call his new relationship off. Yeah, it is over. I don't think it was a serious relationship. I just heard rumors that he had a girlfriend but didn't know the details. So maybe I thought it was more serious than it was. Now he's moving back and I haven't heard that someone is moving with him. So I don't know. We talk on the phone every day but I don't want to pry. Last story. My wife's cat ended our marriage. My wife, 33, female, has a cat. I, 34, male, like the cat, and I'm his primary caregiver. I feed him, clean his litter, take him to vet, but he's not my cat. He's also a little terror and wakes me up every single morning at 4 a.m. screaming for food. He doesn't stop. He continues for hours until I get up and feed him. My wife can sleep through it. I can't. And once I'm awake, I can't get back to sleep. So I average a max of 6 hours of sleep every night. I can't just get up, feed him and then go back to bed because he has medical conditions requiring food at regular times. I'm slowly losing my sanity. I have an intense job and I'm always tired. I told my wife that he's driving me insane. I've suggested a vibrating collar for him to wear at night or talking to the vet. She doesn't see the issue and takes zero initiative to reach a compromise. So instead, I'm always exhausted and quite frankly starting to dislike her cat. She tells me that complaining doesn't do anything and I just need to ignore him. Today was very bad. It was my only day to sleep in, and my wife usually feeds him on that day. He woke me up at 4 and kept screaming until she woke up to her alarm at 6.30. She went to the bathroom and was sending me Instagram posts for 25 minutes while he was yelling outside the door at the top of his lungs. So I decided to get up as my morning was already ruined and I'd been awake since 4. She saw me getting dressed and asked what I was doing. I said I'm getting up, I'm already awake, I can't get back to sleep, and I'm tired of this. She called me dumb and said he wakes her up too, but that she pretends to be asleep and I can't tell. Now I know that's a lie, but okay. Not really sure how that changes that I'm miserable. My wife proceeded to get furious that I was getting up and complaining and told me I'm being a child. It escalated until she was screaming at me, while I'm just looking at her bleary-eyed and loppy from lack of sleep. She said, Do you even remember the things I said you have to work on for this marriage to continue? I said, No, I'm so tired, I don't remember anything. Stupid answer, I know. Well, she lost it and started yelling more. She basically said we should get a divorce because I don't make enough money, that I'm an angry person while she's screaming at me and I'm just taking it, and that she's tired of my nonsense and that I don't give her enough quality time. This coming from the person who did nothing for Valentine's Day, who got me ankle weights for Christmas, I'm still confused why she got them, who ignored what I want to do for my birthday every single year. We have our issues, but I acknowledge them and work on myself. This is a one-way street, though, and I'm the only one who ever seems to be at fault. I ask her to please leave if she's going to be mean to me, and that she's literally screaming at me while calling me an angry person. She told me to grow up, and that I'm clearly not working in our marriage. She stormed out and sent me several lovely texts that she's done and in shock that I'm not working in our marriage. So it looks like telling her that I can't take the cat anymore is going to be the catalyst for end of our marriage. Yes, we have issues, but no more than your average couple, and she has a habit of escalating disagreements and screaming. Anytime I ask her to just talk to me, she gets even angrier and says, Not everyone has to talk in quiet tones like a robot. I'll shout if I want. I'm currently at work on my day off, because I know if I'm home when she finishes work, that I'll get a lecture and screamed at some more. I'd rather be in my office than in my home waiting for her to yell at me. I also know that I feel an immense surge of relief on top of sadness that our relationship may be over. Yeah, divorce sucks, but I'd get to sleep again. And I feel immense guilt that I feel relieved. Our intimate life doesn't exist. She tells me not to talk to her about it. She doesn't seem to care about me beyond his roommate. She doesn't even know how I order my coffee after a decade together. I've read all her favorite books, so I can talk to her about them. She blatantly refuses to read mine. I was the only one working during COVID, paid for her university degree. I do all the housework and the shopping, but I'm not good enough. She won't change but expects me to. She criticizes me constantly to the point that I physically get tense when she sees me doing something and asks about it. Then yells at me for being defensive. I already know that when I get home, she'll make a huge show out of us breaking up. Instead of just saying we should get a divorce, there will be a lecture in my character, followed by a summation of my faults and ending with a declaration that she suffered enough. 
She's done this a few times, and normally I'd apologize even if I'm not at fault, but this morning was the last straw. I'm done. I don't care anymore. I feel like I'm drowning and she's pushing me under while telling me she's trying to help. She can take everything. Just please take the cat too. I'd rather start from scratch than wake up every day worried about what I'll say or do to set her off again. Edit. The cat can only have wet food due to his medical condition, as dry food can cause crystals in his bladder and infection due to the high level of carbohydrates. An automatic wet food feeder is just as much work as getting up to feed him at 6.30 when he's supposed to be fed, given that I would be the one cleaning the machine. Now for the top advice. Yes, we have issues, but no more than your average couple. None of what you've described is normal in a healthy and mutually loving relationship. Sounds like she seriously needs to work on herself, and you deserve better. Edit. Also wanted to add that she also needs to take care of her cat, or she shouldn't have it. It sounds neglectful at best, and abusive at worst, considering the poor thing has health problems that require regularly scheduled feeding. Abusive to the husband for sure. Divorce will be a blessing for Opie. My first thought? Good riddance. The cat really did Opie a favor. Record her. There is absolutely no need for verbal abuse, which is what you're describing, and it needs to be documented. Furthermore, I would write down every single thing she hasn't done and how much you've paid. When she starts yelling, you hand her that and leave. Send divorce papers. That would not work. I tried that once when she punched me in the mouth. She was passive-aggressive for weeks until I got an apology for busting my lip almost a month later. Dude, leave. The cat isn't a problem. Your wife is, 